Uh, I guess, um, this is a message for the kids' companions. Uh, you guys need to stop. And year, I want to say 1999. I was 20 years old. And I was statutorily abused by a ordained priest of the Episcopalian Church at Washington National Cathedral. I settled and took $30,000, which I was punished for spending on drinking and partying with people that I effectively had this. <laughs> They weren't really friends, they were bribed ten years. And his brain was a little drinker. Anyway, quite miserable. But we'd settled and yet I still feel that there's a persistence of oh you ruined brother's life and so we're following you. Because that expose even with hush hush is probably not good for that gentleman's career but they're very costly to their church. Very costly because I ran away after he sucked my dick in a room full of mouse books and slept outside the washroom after the video because I didn't know how to get home. It was in the middle of the night in DC. So I slept around their side entrance on the stone. And then I was trying to walk home and he followed me and so I got into my car and it looked like terror reaching in to take me. <laughs> I can remember to this day and I went home on the metro and then I had to tell my mother that listen, this, this is what happened to me and she just said she'd sue and then the following was sued so he didn't stay in that truth and not being gay so we'll punish him for the rest of his life and make it so he can only be one of nothing. You weren't supposed to do that, let's get paid raise. You were supposed to have settled. Is there anyone who can interrogate me on a Sunday? Don't they have to remember where they come from? Who taught them to speak? And I know the Americans don't like that because they want their freedom. You don't get to pursue me. Oh, well, you will. But that's the fight I have to live through. As well as just a pain of being sat still and people saying, well, if he pounds ass, he should pound the books. If he does this, he should do that. Everything they can think of ladled onto me. <laughs>